All right, today I am going to do a real-time planning, plan with me for a daily, a daily sheet. So bear with me because I'm really awkward and I say things I probably shouldn't say. I'm, re I'm better at writing than talking. So I just have this folder back here to smooth out my workspace because long story short, this is just contact paper over a really ugly countertop. All right, my theme this week for a lot of my stuff is kind of doodly and sketchy for my memory planning at least. The other stuff has a different vibe. So I've been experimenting with stamps and I did, I was testing out these hexagon stamps I got and I ended up liking how it turned out enough. So I was like, I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel or I guess the hexagon and instead just made this little cluster that I cut out and then outlined yellow. I was doing that on the, on the test sheet. So I'll have to clean that up a bit. But I know I wanna anchor the piece. I call these anchors. I don't know if other people do. I don't know if that's actually a design term, but it feels like it balances out. I always want something on each page that kind of like holds it down. And oftentimes it's this corner, just because, you know. Um, I probably will end up putting this over here. I might end up using, I also made these stick, these, these stamps, these are from Ink Road. The stamps are with just, uh, I think it's the Tim Holtz Distressed Black Onyx or something like, maybe I'm getting it messed up with something else. But anyway, so these could actually be cut out and then they're sticker, it's on a sticker paper. But I think I'm going with the hex. Cause you're hexy and you know it. Okay. So we'll start with that. And I know I want yellow Monday across the top to start. I always run out of room. I have to redo these all the time because I run out of room. So, and I need to go smaller than I normally would. Do I make my day so big? Like all of my dailies have the name, the day, I would say 95% of them have the day really big. I, this goes back to me being a visual person. I want to, I can see better what happened on each day if I have to retrieve information later because I'll a lot of times scrawl notes or something on it. And this is part of the picture. And if I just wrote it really little, I would just think of the rest of it, but I wouldn't remember what day it is. I, I think that's why I do it. But also I really, really like to letter days of the weeks. I think it's, it's one of the most fun things to letter. Um, and I've gotten comfortable with it, so it's total muscle memory. Anyway, so if I end up adding this, I know this is black and white, but I feel like these almost compete. So I think I might pull out my fave washi in the world, and it's from Goat Girl Goodies, and it's these like scribble grid, or I can't remember, crooked, crooked wobbly lines grid, something like that. All right, so we have got Monday. I will more than likely do what I do all the time, which is trace around the outside. It's like the look of it later. Okay, so my Mondays are my day with my kiddo, with Archer. My nine-year-old goes to school. So I'm gonna try to do a get it done list, maybe have two sections of it, and then reminders. Reminders to me are more like quick hits or just things don't forget to do, but it's always hard to differentiate whether it's a to-do, like a task or a reminder. Like, what's the difference? I have to like really think it through sometimes. And then I realize it doesn't matter. As long as it's on my list, it doesn't matter. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do, this is our schedule. Then we've got reminders and then my task list. So I think for that, I am gonna do a 
and then reminders over here. But I think for the reminders, I am gonna do yellow lines like this. I really love writing on highlighted, where would it be highlight? <laughs> anyway, I like write, I love writing with just a regular, you know, my trusty pen tool, clean up, cleaner, whatever you want to call it, on highlighted paper. Okay, so I'm going to put reminders there. I'm going to put, get it done here. This is our game plan. But I want to kind of like spice it up. What do I do? What if I did this in yellow? <laughs> Got an angle. Voila on that one. So I don't just randomly have these at my desk. Kit Kats are my nemesis, but also my best friend. Excuse me while I take it. Kit Kat break. So this is the Tombow. I get soft and hard tips messed up. I think it's the soft tip, but I think I'm going to use the hard tip. All right, what did I say? This is going to be get it done. Get it done, and then this is, I can never fit the words reminder or remember. <laughs> Not on the space I always leave myself. So I need to remind, what is shorter? I think it's reminder. On the best. Okay. Anyway, so let's see, Monday, get it done, reminders. I feel like I wanna do, hold please. Okay, sorry, I had to skip ahead. I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna look and see some of my stamp options. I kinda wanna do these down the get it done side, but I don't know if that's too close to that line. But I feel like I have to because I can't do it on the reminders so I think I'm gonna do that. And then also, I'm gonna do this quote. Okay, let's see. This is where I will mess it all up, guys. This is why stamping is not advisable unless you're ready to make mistakes. I feel like I'm just not confident and I probably should have done this <laughs> way before at the beginning so I won't have to start all over okay I can do this if everybody closes their eyes and say stamp it okay ready oh please okay not too bad a little on the dull side so where'd that quote go the quote says, go where you feel alive, or most alive. I don't want it to butt up to that note, though. So I'm wondering if I should maybe divide the section with even some dashes. Ah, sticking, sticking to me. Or... What if I did this, go where you feel most alive here. I don't know, go where you feel most alive doesn't look very, oh, here. I was say, I want something a little more handwritten. 
I could just write it, like letter it. But since I got this all out, I can't even remember where I got this. Okay, let's do making memories together. Because to, since it's a mommy and what an archer day, which is what I call them. Let's see. What if I go farther up? No. There we go. Okay. So, okay. You guys, I think some of you are thinking, I wish she would do one more section of those dots to be a little more risque. Let's see. Now let's watch. It's going to be completely uneven. No, actually, I did it. Okay, I've graduated. Okay. Now that leaves the quote. So, I don't, if you're not familiar, the way they do stamps these days is so much better than those wooden, I mean, I'm sure some people still use those because I see them. But these acrylic blocks, I think they're, I think it's acrylic, that's what they're called. They're so much easier because you can see where you're putting it down. And I honestly just use baby wipes to clean up the outside if I see it. Because if you do touch it, you're going to get it all smudgy. And I still probably will. But don't drop them because I've done that a lot too. So what if we put it... Hmm... I want to be able to I think it'd be cute to do this and then have a little box maybe over here where I put maybe the fun memory of the day together okay and then see gosh dang it I just did exactly it ah don't worry for the photo I'll just Photoshop it out and only you guys will know that that looks deplorable Ah, every single time I use life stamps, like where this is why I do it on other paper and just use them as stickers because I, I suck. It, it's just, I'm horrible. I do something really clumsy. <sighs> okay. So for this part, I'm going to do a line here and then do some more lines this way, but do them a little closer together. It's more like a square, like a box. Then I'm going to draw the box in a little bit. Nah, not my finest. Oh, I don't know if I should have done that. Nothing a little white out can't pretend to fix. Okay, so I do have to paste this down. So maybe I'll turn it this way. Okay, so when I paste, we'll go right here. Let's go up a little bit. That way there's room to write. Okay, notes, notes. Okay, I think I'm done, except, yeah, I'm done. See, and knowing when to stop is another hard part. That's why all my spreads have so many flipping stickers in them. Because I just, I keep going. If someone else is doing it, I can be like, stop. This is a good place to stop. But if I'm doing it, I just want to use it all. I have too many ideas and I get too excited. Right here-ish. All right. That'll do, guys. That'll do.